Doja Cat seems to be on like a one-way mission to basically rid herself of her fan base. She's basically doing what they do in like, you know, with some DJs where they will purposely try and clear the dance floor. They want to kind of reset the room. So they might play some fucking Robert Glasper, like a fucking 14 minute jazz track or some shit. They might play the soundtrack to fucking Star Wars or something, right? It happens a lot in DJ World, but I've never seen it with a fucking legit pop star where she's actively trying to get her fans to not like her. She obviously is going on these fucking tirades where she's basically saying, We don't, we're not friends. I don't know you guys. I just make good music. Stop asking, stop telling me to tell you that I love you, all this sort of stuff. But the other thing that I think is really interesting about her is that I get the feeling there is an element of like, I don't even I don't even want to call it like self hate because I think that's too easy of a label to put on people. But there's definitely an element of her where I feel like she doesn't enjoy the get the like the black male gaze, if that makes sense. Like I get the feeling that she doesn't enjoy the black male gaze in that she doesn't want black dudes to look at her and first over her. So she purposely sometimes wears and acts a certain way that would usually, you know, be a I don't know, like a dog whistle to the white lads out there who would fucking love the way she kind of acts because it's kind of a kooky white girl thing. But most black dudes who are kind of maybe into her from the moo days, like, you know, bitch on my cow thing, are probably just into her because, you know, they remember her for having a, a big bum and shit. But now that she's, you know, kind of leaned against that kind of archetype and she's doing this, what she did now, which is a fucking genius troll, this post that she posted where it says first trap and it's a very unflattering image where it shows all the fucking spots on her head her receding hairline it makes her boobs look super saggy it makes her look super skinny like it's a really unflattering angle right and she's got this kind of bug eyes thing going on i kind of feel like it's a it's like another attempt on top of the pushing the fans away to purposely push away or distract or kind of you know avert the glaze the glaze the gaze sometimes the glazing but the gaze of the black man um or the urban male right in the in the sense of like a central c like central c's probably got a little bit too much paprika in him for her anyway even though she's probably way more i guess black than him because i don't even think central c is black is he i'm not sure if he is i'm not too sure that doesn't matter but i just get the feeling she's not somebody that's a fan of having black men look at her and compliment her for her look she doesn't like it at all in the slightest and this is a kind of another way to kind of do it but it's also a funny way to kind of put these sort of things out but that being said i'm really curious to see how this plays out in real time because she's got a tour coming up right and the tour is i forgot the tour name but i think she's doing a tour with like she's going on tour of like ice spice and somebody else and then she got this video, music video also that came, sorry, this music video also came out, um, which is called Paint the Town Red. And when I saw this music video and I listened to the song, one thing kind of struck me really when I kind of analyzing it, because I've been a fan of Doja Cat and seeing her kind of, you know, what she's kind of gone at the moment, where she's purposely trying to push her fans away. I don't mind that. But then when I listened to the song, I, was, I thought to myself, she's not talented enough to have that kind of attitude especially watching stuff that Kanye has been doing over the years. Like Kanye is so undeniably talented. He's such a freak in the fucking, you know, studio and with, you know, design in terms of sneakers, in terms of fucking, you know, activation launch events and shows and shit. He's so like God tier that it literally doesn't matter what he says and does. People are always going to be queuing around the block for whatever he makes and puts out always. Um, because he's just that good he can kind of get away with kind of being a douchebag or you know saying some very um, displeasing things but I don't think Doja's art is good enough for her attitude that's a problem she's having she's allowed to say fuck you to the fans she's allowed to say you guys aren't my friends I don't love you guys I just make music that's why you guys know me da, 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 leave me alone we're not friends blah blah you, you can have that attitude but unfortunately your art isn't good enough to allow you to be that much of a cunt to your fans you have to kind of play the game everyone else does because i think in most parts of entertainment in most areas of music industry or whatever it may be there is an element of being likability that there is an element of likability that adds to your success a good example i think is sexy red sexy red right ski that girl i think legitimately makes some of the worst music i've ever heard in my entire life it legitimately makes you know fucking what's his name illegitimately makes fucking 
what's his fucking name? Oh, what's that fucking guy, the Mexican kid's name? Lil Pump. Like, Sexy Red makes Lil Pump sound like fucking Beethoven. I swear to God. But Sexy Red has a really likable personality. Like, she's somebody that I get the feeling like guys may want to fuck, but also want to be her friends. And girls also like, because I think with, with, with kind of female women rappers and shit, it's a bit difficult because sometimes, you know, you can, you have to be kind of a girl's girl, but also you have to kind of be a girl's girl that girls aren't intimidated by or threatened by. It's, it's a strange thing. So I feel like Sexy Red does a really good job and maybe even I Spice of like, you know, uh, living in that world where they have a lot of male fans and a lot of women fans. But for some reason, you know, Doja is on this lane where she's trying to piss off her fans, but I feel like her art isn't good enough. She has to be likable, but she's not likable. You know, she does a lot of things that make her unlikable. So it's hard to kind of root for her because the art isn't undeniable to kind of ignore the unlikability aspect of her personality and the fact that she, you know, only dates black men and has this whole thing with the hair thing and the purposely trying to divert the black male gaze. Again, I'm reading into this. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm probably talking on my ass, but I just get that vibe from her a little bit. She's a bit of a troll and shit. You know what I mean? Some people don't like that, especially the the shade borough type people, or me, sorry, the shade borough, shade room people, they're not really into fucking, you know, satirical, dark, white, Caucasian humor and shit. So she's probably not into all that sort of stuff. But, you know, it's kind of is a sort of problem. She has to kind of figure it out along the way and maybe sort it. But I'm curious to see what happens on the tour. Because the tour's happening, right? I forgot what the tour name is. Let me see if I can get up on here. There we go. That's it. It's the, what's that thing called? It's the Scarlet Tour, right? This tour is happening very soon. And I think the first show is happening, what, in October or something, right? If I'm not mistaken. So we're going to be able to see, um, you know, unequivocally whether or not people give a fuck about Doja like that. Like, will she be able to kind of pack out all these venues from October to the point where now people are going to be like, you know what? It doesn't matter what she does or says. Her fucking music is so good. I'm interested to see what happens. But if you're Ice Spice or Doshi, you're going to be a bit annoyed because she's not doing the best promotion for this tour ever. She's not really, you know what I mean, selling the tour that well. So these two girls probably need this tour really badly to go well and be successful. And the fact that she's kind of purposely making herself not the most likable person in the world is not going to help. You know what I mean? So um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see what, what it rolls out. But I'm curious to see how this all plays out in the next few weeks when the tour does end up kicking off. Um, moving on from that. Moving on from that. Let me actually... I've got to actually blow it. I want to talk about this personally because I'm in two right? What are you saying here? Uche, what are you just saying in the chat? Black folks don't know how to take in any atypical black chick. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly. True. Black, especially American black people, I feel like I feel like in the UK we do a lot better with the alternative black image, right? I feel like the whole Tyler the Creator thing would have got accepted way quicker in the UK than it did maybe in America. I feel like it took a bit long for you guys to kind of get Tyler. Even I think Tyler's kind of tame when it comes to alternative sort of like you know black folks, but you guys really have a hard time wrapping your head, especially black Twitter and what all those black sort of kind of you know hip hop platforms. They really give Doja a hard time because she's clearly not, you know, she's probably one of the, I, I think, prominent ones I could think of in media out there who's clearly more, acts more white than she is black. And, you know, or maybe half and half, I don't know. But she doesn't try to lean into the black thing, you know what I mean? Um, clearly, because she's been brought up a certain way, which is, is what it is. But for some reason, people have a hard time kind of getting their head around it. Kind of is what it is. But 